Wait! Don't kill me, I surrender! Where's the Quarian? She's not here, I don't know where she is, that's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait, I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here, said you'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. We don't shoot unarmed prisoners. How many people died because of him? He brought this on himself. Besides, we have more pressing concerns. That quarian's dead if we don't go now. Did you bring it? Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Fist set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? The Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Veil. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. Saren won't get out of this one. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Corps, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. 
The captain's right. We need to present this to the council right away. What about her? Aquarium? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the Conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Fifty thousand years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull- Ambassador, there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. I faced Saren on Eden Prime and exposed him for a traitor. I've proven myself. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. 
individuals forged in the fire of service and battle, those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Seren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. I'll find him. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. I expected your ambassador to be more grateful. He didn't even thank you. Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Commander. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. This ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The Conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the Conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the Conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the Conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist, who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. Your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing, but you're the one who can stop, Saren. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. Tell me what happened with you and Saren 20 years ago. Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the Citadel. Like Udina, she wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me and evaluate my performance, just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, Sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned? 
Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. How many casualties? The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the Council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. We're all on the same team here, Presley. With all due respect, ma'am, that's what they said about Nihilus. Look how that turned out. Speak freely, Presley. I want to know if you have a problem with non-humans. It's not that, Commander. Humanity has always handled its own problems. Saren attacked one of our colonies. We should be the ones to stop him. We don't need their help. Some people think asking for help is a sign of weakness. That's just being stupid and stubborn. No matter how strong you are, allies can make you stronger. I guess so. Maybe I'm just stuck in the old ways of thinking. But don't worry, Commander. This won't be a problem. Carry on, Presley. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. This began with an attack on a human settlement in the Traverse. But we know Saren won't stop there. His Geth armies aren't going to stay on the far fringes of Citadel space. Our enemy knows we're coming. Wherever he searches for the conduit, we'll be there. We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped, and I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. The Captain will be proud. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, ma'am.